Hey Fright fans, Scott from Fright Props here, and today I'm just gonna show you a really quick wiring tutorial for the LEDs in a piece of resin hardware like this. This is one of the resin panels from Wind Hinges Creek, our friends over there, and we also, of course, offer this at FrightProps.com. And one of the really cool things that they do is not only is this a super cool looking panel, but they actually include some LED lights that you can wire up so that these gauges and some of the buttons and stuff can light up on them. The LEDs used in these are 12 volt, so all we need to do is wire them together and then connect that to a 12 volt power supply. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we're gonna turn over the panel so that we can access the wires on the back. And you can see each LED has a set of wires, a red and a black, positive and negative. So what we're gonna do is just create one big circuit where all of these are shared together and then jump that over to a power supply. Now, because the wires are not all quite long enough to reach each other, we're gonna extend this wire first. Since these two are closer, this one's a little farther away. And to do that, I'm gonna be using a piece of 22 gauge, two strand wire, so they call this 22-2 wire. I'm gonna strip out the outer shielding here, and that will show the two wires inside. Again, we have a red and a black for positive and negative. I'm gonna strip off some of the shielding of the wires themselves. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just connect this uh, spare piece of wire to this first LED here. So I'm just gonna take my black to the black of the LED, twist them together, and then I'm gonna use a wire nut to secure that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the red positive wires. Just twist those together and put a wire nut on. So now we just have a little bit of an extension here that will allow this LED uh, pair of wires to go to those. So now I'm just gonna strip off this and then strip these. Before we bundle all these together, I'm actually going to prep one more piece of this 22-2 wire, and that's gonna go with them so that these will all get bundled together here, and then they'll give me one end with just a positive and a negative that I need to connect to the power supply. That way I'm not trying to connect all these wires to the power supply, I can just have one set. So once again, stripping this, strip the red and the black. So now I'm just gonna take all the red wires from the LEDs and this one extension here and bundle all those together. So just all the reds in one bundle. And then I'm also going to take the red from my new extension and I'm gonna bundle that in as well. And then I'm going to put a wire nut on that. And then we're gonna do the same with the black wires. So we're just gonna take all our negative black wires and just bundle all those together as well. And once those are all bundled up, we can put a wire nut on that. So now you can see that we have all of our LEDs wired together, all the reds, all the blacks, all connected into these two wire nuts and then leading to this extension here. So now we can just strip the end of that, strip the red and the black as well. These I'm stripping shorter because we're actually gonna use these to plug into an adapter like this. This is a power supply adapter. It's gonna let us plug in the normal barrel plug from a power supply. So I'm just gonna take our red and white wires. And if you see here, there's a plus and a minus sign here on the actual adapter. So I'm just gonna take my red into plus and my black into negative. So I'm just gonna take this wire here, put the red in the plus, the black in the negative, Take my screwdriver and tighten these screws here on the top. If you had another panel you wanted to wire in, you would just join the negative and positive wires from that to this bundle here. So that way you could connect a bunch of these panels all together. As long as they all use the same voltage of LEDs and as long as you get them from us, um, they will, um, that'll work just fine. The main thing you wanna watch for is that you know the voltage of the LEDs. In this case, we know these are 12 volts, so we know we can use a 12 volt power supply. And you wanna make sure that the power supply you're using has sufficient amperage to run all the LEDs. Now, these LEDs draw a tiny amount of amperage, like a fraction of a tenth of a amp. Um, so we're not gonna really need to be worried about having enough amps. We're gonna use a one amp power supply. That's gonna be plenty for these LEDs, plus many more. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and flip this back around. 
We now have all of our LEDs wired up and we have our power supply connector here. All right, so here's the power supply that we're gonna be using. And if you look closely here, you can see that the output is 12 volts with one amp. So you can think of the voltage as the type of power and the amperage is basically your available reservoir power, like how much 12 volt power can this power supply provide? Again, one amp, more than enough for what we're doing here. But that's something you wanna pay attention to. How many amps are the things that you're attaching going to draw and how many amps can your power supply provide? So we can go ahead now and just plug this into our power supply or our power strip off screen here. And then we can just go ahead and plug the barrel end from the power supply into our connector here. And the LEDs will power on. And of course, if you had more of these panels, you could wire them all together the same way. As long as the power supply has enough amperage to drive all the LEDs, then you can run them all together in one big circuit. All right, so that's a quick look at wiring up a resin hardware panel like this with 12 volt LEDs in it. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always leave a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.